A key starting material for mRNA is a DNA template. DNA templates can come from plasmid DNA produced by microbial fermentation. The presence of certain sequences such as poly A in DNA template can make it very challenging for the production during its fermentation process. Similarly, the quality of the linearized plasmid sometimes influences the transcription as well. Manufacturing mRNA needs to be tightly controlled and have a strong analytics in place for the manufacturing. RNA polymerase can naturally produce increasing amount of double-strand RNA impurities at high product concentration. This is known to cause immunogenicity. Another important attribute for mRNA is the capping amount and also poly A tail integrity. All these attributes are important to mRNA quality and its own function. They need to be assessed during the in vitro transcription process. A careful selection of process parameters and analytical assessment are needed to maintain the product quality. Another key thing to know is that mRNA use a set of unique raw materials and reagents that are not shared with other modalities. A lot of these materials are supplied by a narrow list of vendors. It's worth noting that a large fraction of the product costs actually come from the raw materials in production especially for those where the IP right exists. So the industry will need to address this issue in the future to improve both the supply chain robustness as well as lower the cost of the materials.